Hi, this is Ms. Davis, and I am going to shorten the video for the kindergarten through second grade art scavenger hunt. So kindergarten through first graders, um, either online or on campus, will complete the art scavenger hunt by drawing a small picture that goes along with the word artist, A-R-T-I-S-T. However, they do not need to print this page. They can draw on any white piece of paper. And so I've started a drawing that looks like that. And so what you would do would be get a piece of paper, draw sections that say A-R-T-I-S-T. -T. And then in each of those sections, you would draw these different things inside that section and you want to save this paper for the following weeks because we're going to expand on what we draw in some of these pictures so the first thing that you would draw would be a and that is any artwork so I drew a landscape picture so it could be a landscape it could be a sculpture. It could be anything that you would see in art. And then R is something that you would see, use or see for rodeo artwork. So it could be anything related to Texas. It could be anything related to the rodeo or cowboys or cowgirls, like a cowboy boot, maybe a hat, um, any kind of... Um, rodeo animal like a cow or a horse maybe it would be a um, I don't know a wagon or something related to Texas or any farm animal as well T is a tool a tool that an artist uses so this could be um, a pencil it could be a marker it could be a pair of scissors it could be a bottle of glue. It could be really anything related to art that you would use in art class. And so I'm going to make a pair, excuse me, a pair of scissors. I is um, an image that is close up. So close up means you zoomed in on that image. And so zooming in means it's a close up picture. So if I look at this marker, and I zoom in on only part of the marker, I might see only, trying to zoom in, only the word Sharpie. Or if I'm going to draw a pair of scissors and I zoom in, I might only see part of the handle. So that would be a picture that is zoomed in, and you could draw it in a square like this and maybe draw the marker part and all I see is S-H-A. So that's a zoom in picture of a Sharpie. S on here is a sketch. And a sketch is a really fast drawing. So I just did a sketch of a car. If I were going to draw a sketch of a ball, I might just draw a real quick circle, maybe draw some lines to make it look like a basketball, and that's a sketch. And then, oh, nope, I messed up. Oopsie. So on kindergarten through first, second grade, S is something that's square. A sketch was for the older kids. So I could just draw a box, something that's square. Okay. And then T is something that shows texture. Texture is hard to draw. So I'm going to tell you that right now. So I'm going to draw an orange because an orange has little bumps on it. So little bumps would show texture. It's how something feels. This would be bumpy. A banana would be smooth. So if I draw a banana, this part of the banana is smooth. The orange is bumpy. So that shows texture. And you do not have to turn this in on a video or anything. You just need to hold on to that until next week when we expand on what we're going to do with a couple of these pictures. 
So that is the art scavenger hunt for kindergarten. Well, not even kindergarten. First grade and second grade. Kindergarten, we're going to do something a little bit different.